We finished up milking, had some breakfast. Now I'm moving on to chores for the day. I have a sick cow today that we're gonna check out and see if we can figure out what's going on with her. So here is our sick cow for today. Um, so this girl, um, this orange ear tag in her ear is actually a computer chip um, that will read her activity, the temperature of her ear, um, so how much she's moving, laying down, and how much she is eating. Um, and it alerted us that her eating had slowed down and her movement had slowed down. Um, and so we're doing a physical examination today. She is skinny, um, so she, we can visually see that she hasn't been eating. Um, I just took her temperature. Um, it's normal, so she doesn't have a fever, but I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to listen um, to her rumen and we're gonna see if she possibly has um, a displaced um, a displaced ablamasin, which um, in that's the veterinarian term for it. In plain speak, we call it a twisted stomach. So I'm gonna do a stethoscope exam on her. I'm gonna take my stethoscope and I'm gonna listen in this area and I'm going to actually um, take my fingers and flick her along this side. And I'll, I also listen up here as well. Um, so normally what we're looking for is we want it to be solid thud sounds. If I hear anything that sounds like a basketball hitting off of um, the ground, then we know that uh, she has a displaced abomasin or otherwise known as a twisted stomach. So the good thing is this side sounds completely normal, but now we're gonna have to check both sides. We always have to check both sides of the cow. This side sounds normal too, so I don't think we have um, a displaced abomasum. Um, and also um, her ears are not I wouldn't say they're cold. I mean, they're definitely not the warmest, um, but that could just be um, due to the weather. It is kind of cold out, but definitely though, still something's causing an issue. So no temp, no um, sounds that indicate a displaced ablamasum. She could still potentially have an infection and just not have um, a temp yet. Uh, she is a fresh animal, which means that she has more likelihood to have some issues go on as a fresh animal. Um, she is looking a little bit shaky. I'm going to go ahead and check her lungs. And so when you check a cow's lungs, you got to check on both sides. So I'll start off on this side and see if I can hear um, any kind of sounds such as pneumonia sounds um, or any kind of breathing issues. For a physical examination, <clears throat> I don't think we need to give antibiotics for an infection right now. Um, and she doesn't have a DA as of right now. It could possibly be floating in and out, so we'll have to just check um, on her every day and see if it does or not. Um, so right now, I'm just gonna do supportive therapies. So we're gonna do some vitamins um, just to get her feeling better and hopefully um, get her eating. We're also gonna do some pain management. She is a little bit shaky. Um, so I think we could possibly have some pain going on. So we're going to do pain management, vitamins, and supportives, and hopefully get her eating and drinking again. Um, and she'll get to hang out inside here um, where her feed and water are literally a couple feet away from her so that she doesn't have to work too hard to eat. Um, so we're going to go ahead and do that and then let her go. So I have three injections I'm going to give her, um, vitamins and pain management. Uh, these two shots go in the muscle, and then this shot here, this pain management medicine, is going to go in her vein. And then I'm also going to go ahead um, and give her a little bit of calcium, just because she is a fresh animal, and since she hasn't been eating like she should, we're just going to go ahead and supplement her a little bit. For giving a shot in the vein, we're gonna go ahead and restrain her head. Um, that way, 
uh, we can make sure to locate her vein safely and that way we don't get head butted as we are trying to inject meds in her vein. <laughs> I'm locating her vein right now. Got her vein. I withdrew some blood to make sure I'm in the vein. And now we are giving her pain management. Go ahead and we'll let her take her halter off now. All right, so we got some vitamins in her. Um, and got some pain management in her and then we'll just keep checking on her and like I showed you guys before this orange tag is actually keeping track of her activity her eating um, her laying down and standing so we'll also have that that we can keep track to see how she's doing another important thing is since we did um, give her pain management meds um, that milk is not good for consumption um, and also just because she's sick too, we don't want to um, put that milk into her tank. But since we did treat her um, with a pain management drug, her milk cannot be used for consumption. So we're going to put orange bands on her and we're going to enter her into a computer system. So that way her milk gets discarded and does not um, go in our tank and never makes it to any consumer product. is marked so that milk will go into a separate bucket and will get discarded. With her we'll go ahead and let her go and she can go back to her pen and rest and eat. thing that I need to do is since the weather's warming up and we also have calves that are starting to um, get too big to wear blankets now. I'm going to go ahead and take blankets off of some of our bigger animals. Now it's time to feed calves again and get milking again. Um, now it's time to get started with the milking. <laughs> Finished milking and I got milk in my pasteurizer for the calves. So we're all done for today. If you liked this, go ahead and give it a like and comment below th videos you would like to see in the future. Thanks for watching. Bye.